Hello and welcome, my name is Chris from ChristopherHall.com and in this video I'd like to share with you a few uh, parts or elements of the Back to Basics uh, workshop that I run. And the Back to Basics workshop is, uh, it's, it's an insight into, I guess, sort of like the, the truth behind exercise. So there's a little bit of a, an eye-opener with regards to um, exercise and the, the industry that we as professionals uh, work in, um, which is partly what I'm going to discuss in this slide, uh, but also there's some understandings of low back pain, so how is it caused, we'll talk about that in another video, and also about the body, how it works, because that's the main thing, that's what Back to Basics is all about, it's going back to the basics of how the body works, because exercise has taken that away from the body it's not necessarily using the body as it's built to be used and you know in one of the videos um, video number three in this little series uh, that's what I'll be in in some ways explaining um, as it relates to to this one and uh, the second video which is going to be about uh, the danger of sit-ups and, and crunches but to start with we've got um, the exercise model that is used within the fitness industry and uh, it as you can see there is a triangle um, on its end um, that is obviously purposely put that way because in the fitness industry at the moment and there's there's a few influences where this comes from it comes from the media it comes from um, the military it comes from bodybuilding it comes from athletics or not athletics but being um, or wanting to be an athlete and train like an athlete so on and so forth or the perception that you need to train like an athlete to be able to do exercise which is a little bit um, um, false let's say um, so this is what I call the over exercising model and this is the model that I see mostly uh, in in the fitness industry and it starts with as you can see at the bottom basic skills then you've got basic fitness advanced fitness and sports specific now the over exercising model is built on a quantity over quality so it's about doing a lot of exercise to be fit it's about doing long exercise or long sessions to be fit and it's all about exercise 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 as you can see there now the biggest problem with this one is the most most of the people that go to gyms to do this they're stationary all day so what the, the first problem is they go from one extreme to another they sit themselves down all day and then they come and blast themselves in the gym for an hour possibly two hours if they go out for a run or go out on their bike or you know whatever it may be but sort of if they go to the gym it, it's an hour so they'll they'll go in the gym and they'll blast themselves they'll be sat stationary all day and you know whether they go before or after work you know they'll um, put stress on their body because that's one thing our body doesn't like it doesn't like volatility it doesn't like going from stationary to all out maximum and the majority of people that don't do a good quality warm-up um, I again I would say is is the vast majority so they are literally going from one extreme um, to another and as you can see uh, the the four little headings on the on the pyramid as I said you've got basic skills you've got basic fitness advanced fitness and sports specific and I put the triangle round this way for that very reason in that people's foundation of basic skills is very low they don't have a have a foundation so they they are doing sports specific training ie uh, training for a marathon train for a 10k whatever it may be um, in sports specific and that's what they spend the majority of their time doing they don't spend a lot of time on the basic skills the foundation that basically stops your body or not st maybe stops your body getting injured but certainly reduces the risk and significantly reduces the risk of your body getting injured so they haven't got a foundation so what then happens is they're already in a vulnerable position and as you can see here you've got quantity of move if or if you're focusing on quantity of movement first if you haven't got the good quality movement which is part part of the the, the, necess the necessity of basic skills is micro traumas result from a small amount of stress imposed on the body over time caused by poor biomechanics and overtraining which basically means overtraining you're doing too much 
and poor biomechanics is the quality isn't good enough. So you're moving too much of a poor quality, that's creating micro traumas. So people in gyms, and this is again sort of a part of the problem with the fitness industry, people in gyms are essentially injuring themselves. The majority of trainers who train people in that sport specific way are injuring their client. And what I will say is anyone who wants to lose weight and is following um, sort of a high intensity interval training type philosophy or weight training type philosophy, again, they're doing exactly the same thing. They're following advanced fitness um, models and sport specific models to try and get themselves healthier and fitter. But what they're doing as well is they're causing all these micro traumas. And what the micro traumas are doing is they're basically injuring the joints. Which is why people, when they get to 35, they stop playing sport because they're starting to feel injuries. This is why when they get to um, sort of their, their 50s, they may just, you know, drop down to a slightly less intense um, model of exercise. And then when they get into their 60s, they just go back to wanting to be supple um, and work on the basic skills. So... What we have is a is an industry that's, that's backwards. It's completely backwards. It's training people in the wrong way. It's not building a foundation. And essentially, for want of a better way of saying it, it's injuring people. So what we have to do is we have to train in a different way. And what um, adds to this is the, the sort of the second quote from Gray Kirk is poor refers to movement mistakes in which the body compensates and uses suboptimal joint alignment, muscle coordination and posture, which is basically again goes back to the quality of movement. So what we're doing is we're building a quality of movement that puts the joint in a better position so it doesn't get the micro traumas and it doesn't get the small injuries over time. This is where basic skills and basic fitness comes in. This is what you learn there. Obviously, I won't discuss that because that's that's a different exercising model. But what we're looking to do is create a healthier, fitter body by building the basic skills first, which isn't happening in this over-exercising model, which I'm seeing in gyms and in trainers when they qualify and when they're in the industry and the people in the industry this is what's happening i can't you know sort of put it any other way people you know may not like what i'm saying because it goes against um what the industry is saying in that exercise is good for you and exercise is good for you it's just doing the right exercise at the right time in the right way which this model isn't doing so if you've got someone who's stationary all day and then they go and blitz themselves in the gym they're basically doing this to themselves they're basically injuring their joints they may think they're getting a good workout but underlying that they're actually in, in, in a way sort of hurting themselves so what we want to be doing is we want to try and get them onto a better exercise model which is why explaining back to basics in the optimal exercise model so if you've been to the page, you see there's three exercise models, over-exercising, optimal exercise, and under-exercise. So those are the three um, exercising models that are there. And in the in the workshop, I explain them, how, how to do them, and um, what each of them looks like. Plus, I also go through what the basic skills are, because they are your foundation. And in today's industry, they're just not getting taught, which is unfortunate, but at the moment it's the way it is so um, if you want to learn what they are and how to exercise properly to keep yourself healthy then I suggest you come to the um, the uh, back to basics uh, seminar so um, many thanks for watching um, I'll be talking about the danger of sit-ups and crunches in the next video um, so yeah thanks for watching my name is Chris from ChristopherHall.com I'll speak to you in another video